good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where and when you are watching this video from all right i'm actually on a very low this morning you know uh yesterday before i slept and now uh, i'm waking up this morning i was just thinking about something i think i need to share with us you know how uh, the year is still fresh you know a lot of aspiration a lot of uh you know plans to become more to doing more to fulfilling purpose to accomplishment to living a fulfilled life I want to share with us this morning something I think will not only help us uh, throughout this year, but something that will help us even as we join in in life. About a topic I have titled social media. Social media. Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, LinkedIn internet all generally they are all distraction at the time don't get me wrong we have advantage and we have disadvantage we are all we have been distracted from listening to ourselves we have been distracted from the main just because of the minor a lot of voices, a lot of faces, a lot of things that are not true, a lot of things that are not real. Don't get me wrong. I know there are a lot of inspiration one can draw from social media, either YouTube, WhatsApp, Twitter, you know, teachings, educations that are powerful, that can actually transform an individual. But trust me, there are lots, I think, of disadvantages than advantages. If I must say this, listen, just listen to this. Do you know there are lots of people who showcase themselves in social media, a lot of things happening in social media, People you admire in social media, sooner or later, want to be like you in real life. People you pray to be like, people you admire, friends of yours you look at on WhatsApp, on Facebook and say, Ah, you, know, you mean I'm still at this level. In real life, they want to be like you. That's the truth. We are being distracted. We don't listen to our inner self. We truly matter. Who is truly you? Who are you? You know, you have part of everybody. You know, ministers, teachers. You know, listening to every voices out there. Please don't get me wrong. I'm not against the fact of listening to ministers, to teachers, to people, you know, in the body of Christ, you know, people who can actually groom and transform you. But who are you? Did you know you have a life? What can you say about you? Can we ever see you? Can we ever meet with you? What did you like? What did you love? What wake you up every morning? What is that inner desire you have always have? Ever since you were a teenager. Ever since you were a child growing up. You know, this thing that is always there in the various places you have worked. In the various places you have served. This inner burning desire in you. Can we ever see it? 
or you just want to just have part of everybody parts 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 who are you what did you hate you can't like everything even jesus have things he have to hate he have things he have to love so now or later it is what we hate that lies our greatness you can't be everywhere you can't be doing everything who are you this is actually my body in this morning and i thought it would be nice me sharing with us some very bitter truth okay i want to share with you uh, a story i not a story though this is actually an experience i had at the time there was this um uh, it, it, it came a time in my life where you know i i was just growing up you know i needed to you know make friends meet with people you know know people and all of that and i by chance i found this picture on whatsapp of uh, somebody i know back at home in benin a female friend you know long ago and i i actually admire her beauty she was just so beautiful and you know i was now wondering you mean this person has grown this you know this uh this extent and it got me interested and i reached out to her and we became very close you know talking basically every now and then morning evening and all of that you know waiting for you know i was actually uh, 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 intrigued with you know meeting this person at the time when i would go back to benin when i got to benin And I get to meet with this person, this female friend of mine I've always talked with. I've always had on my mind basically all day in Lagos. Trust me, she was not as she was on Facebook, on WhatsApp status. Listen to me, I don't know how you, you do all of these things. People you think you admire on WhatsApp and Facebook, all of those things sooner or later are not true. Phones has actually made the whole thing so hard that people just, you know, they snap pictures and select those, the ones that are good, that are fine, and post them. And you begin to look at them and begin to, you know, you, you, you are being prejudged and begin to think about your life that who are, who, what am I becoming, what am I doing with my life and all of those things. 80 to 90 percent of happenings on social media are fake. I don't mean to be rude. I don't mean to be arrogant. But we must tell ourselves the truth. Hmm. So, uh, in a nutshell, what is Emmanuel Osahon saying? what am i saying okay this is it please don't get me wrong we have advantages and disadvantages of social media so uh, you have to know who you are you have to define what you want stand by it stand by who you are i can't stress the fact that knowing who you are at these days and time, we go a long way in helping you living a fulfilling life. Yeah. Go at your own pace. Don't be prejudged. Don't be in any rush of what you are seeing, of what people are saying. Go at your own pace. I don't know who defined success uh, the other time. Uh, is, it, is it Bob uh, Proctor? Uh, or Proctor, now what's the name? He said, you know, success is an ongoing, you know, a uh, 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 process towards a goal. You have a a goal. You know who you are. You know what you want. You know your why, and you are gradually going towards that direction. You are becoming more of it. That's success. It don't happen overnight. It's a process. It's a process. 
So please don't be pressured. Don't be under pressure by peer pressure, by friends, by relatives. Please, I beg you in the name of God, go at your own pace. What you love, what you have passion for, your inner desire. Depend on God on it. Trust me, you will be successful. You will live a happy life. All of this trying to be everywhere because of what you have seen, because of what people are doing, people are, what people are showcasing. People are even dying in silence. They paint a picture that are not true on social media and you begin to see yourself as not growing. Who have done this to us? How did we get here? Please, I want to just beg us this morning go at your own pace start by defining who you are what you want walk towards it depend on god god factor joining towards that path have role models have mentors people you you know you see who are already in where you want to go Surround yourself with people who are, you know, who you see are doing what you would love to do. Who you see are, you know, already what you want to be. There's no point being everywhere. There is no point doing everything. We are not meant to be. I beg us in the name of God. We are human being not human doing i pray god will help us in jesus name remember remember your friend emmanuel osaho do us to like subscribe comment let's talk about purpose let's talk about why and if you have not subscribed to this channel do it to subscribe promising to be a wonderful time i'm always here as i said in my last video to giving you truths, raw truth that will help you to becoming all God has destined us to be. I don't know your plans about this year, your resolution, your goal, the things you want to do, but in all, don't enter the year casually. You know, uh, if you have not listened to my last video I did on it is, you know, it is risky to enter the year casually just uh check my channel the video is there watch it and plan your year and even as god will be helping us this year in jesus name thank you so much for listening god bless you richly